Well, hello everyone. I got in the mail what I assume is my prize pack for being the winner in the Sketchbox, uh, was it July? Yeah. So, I am super stoked for this. At least I hope this is what it is. It doesn't have Sketchbox anywhere on it. But it's got this super awesome, like, kind of like chrome bubble pack sealer thing in a bob. This is great. This is cool looking. Even the packaging is cool. So hopefully this is. It feels like it's got a bunch of pins and stuff in there. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what we have. I'm so excited. I didn't know they had winter stuff. So the fact that I won is awesome. Oh my god, I see Kobix. I see... Oh, this is great. Look at that. Oh baby, look at that. Oh, some white ink. Yes, check this all out. Now this I don't expect to be tailored to each other. They just said it's gonna be fifty dollars worth of supplies. All right, so it's a uh, looks like watercolor, I guess. Oh, more Karandash. I also heard again it was pronounced not Karen Dash. It was pronounced something else. I don't care. It's gonna be Karandash from now on. So they gave me that. They gave me a flat brush. Um, it's actually decently tailored together to not be tailored together. I, I assume it's not supposed to be tailored together. I don't know if it has like a theme or anything, but uh. It seems like a box that could work together. Oh, I didn't know it was a drawing pen. Oh, my heart just skipped a beat. That's so awesome. Man, this is great. And this was all for free. I mean, this is just for having signed up for Sketchbox. So this is great. A pad of like Copic paper. That's so good too. Man, that feels so great. Th this is like their marker paper and their marker paper is top notch. I wish I would've got a Copic marker. I'm not, listen, that's not a complaint. I'm stoked. <gasps> and they gave me a sticker. And a golden ticket winner Sketchbox sticker. How excellent. God, they make me feel so special. That's excellent. That's so awesome, man. That makes me that makes me super happy. But here is me. Oh, it's a Tombow. Ooh, it's one of those feud pins. Oh, look at that. It's a good, clean gray tone. I like that a lot. Mmm, nice, very nice. And this is like a Sketchbox edition brush pin of some sort. And I'm super excited for this. I love my brush pins. You all know this. Oh, this is a great little brush pin. Look at that. This plastic is. Ridiculous though, my god. It's like it's kryptonite plastic. What, the, what is going on here? Oh, it's a soft pin. Oh, that's so good too. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you can get some good line variation there. Man, that's great. Yeah, this is good. So, a sketchbox signature. I wonder if that's waterproof too. Because this would be good for like ink in my comic book. The ink isn't very dark, which is, I mean, it's not a, the worst thing ever, but it's not. Perfect. This is the uh, Illustrator brand by Spectrum Noir, right? Or Illustrator Pin by Spectrum Noir. Ooh, it's a nice sexy green. Mmm, I like that. Got a brush tip, got a chisel tip. Nope, got a fine point tip on the other side. Big fat pin too. I like uh, I like big sized utensils to use because it's I like something to hold on to, you know. <laughs> this is nice. Now this, I'm really curious, this Kuretake, I don't know what color this is. Is it, is it blue or do I feel it? Man, if this is a black brush pen, I'm gonna lose it. Y'all know how I like my black brush pens. Mm-hmm. This feels really good. This is a, it's got some good weight to it too. And the, the Kuretake pens are always, are always good quality. And I like this. Hopefully this works well because I'm excited for this. I don't know if it says do not shake, but I'm shaking, so I don't read Japanese. Although I do highly love all drawing utensils Japanese, man. I'm a I'm a huge fan of Japanese uh, drawing pens. These right here, okay, so it's gonna be blue ink, which is cool. I'm fine with that. So we got blue, we got green, we got white, we got gray, we have black, and we have this cool stuff here. So I'm excited for all this. This is cool. All right, all right. Oh, look at that. It's a good blue. It's almost like a navy. Excellent. Mmm, like that. And th this hasn't even saturated the tip of the brush yet fully, and that's still looking good, looking real good. And actually, it feels pretty full too, so I think this pen will last quite a while. That's brush variation, you can't beat that, look how, I just love the look of a brush stroke. Like that's why I always like old school comics and golden and silver age comics, stuff like that, because it's just, oh. Love those brush strokes, those old school brush strokes. It looks good. All right, all right, all right. I'm liking that. So we're gonna do the colors next. I'm gonna take this flat pen, pen, sorry, brush. It's a brush. Flat brush, just dab it a little bit. We're gonna see what this looks like. Is it black? Oh, that's black. All right, kinda looks washy. That's good, I like that. 
wonder if we get it real saturated, how dark we can get it. Less water. How charcoal. Ooh, that's man, that's dark dark. That's really good. Oh, I like that. I'm digging that. Let's get a little more water. And just try to thin it out. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. It's purple. If you guys know me, you know what my favorite color combinations are. Green and purple. I love green and purple. Oh, looks like blue. That's that's fine. It's green and blue. That's cool. That works too. It's a good blue. That's, it's a good contrasting blue with this one over here, though, too. This is much more of a vibrant blue. This is much more of a muted blue in the pen, the brush pen, that is. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so I'm, I'm assuming that's. I'm assuming that's just like a watercolor. Didn't actually say, but I'm assuming. Actually, let's shake this up. This stuff I'm excited for. I love me some permanent white ink, and I'm hoping this is. Uh, I doubt it will be very, very. Uh, What's the word? Opaque. Um, most white ink is not. It's hard to get really good opaque white ink. But if this is, that'll be just a good plus. I don't expect it to be. I expect it to be kind of transparent like most is, but we'll see. Yeah, it's pretty transparent. That's fine. Because see, mainly when I get opaque ink like this, or not very opaque ink like this, it's just, to me, it's just more of like a like a texture effect than anything else. Me personally, I like good, stark, harsh. You know, I mean, if you glob it on there, I think it'll be opaque. See? So I think that'll work. I think if I just glob more on, it'll be, wow, oh, that's kind of a cool effect. See, like those little, those little lines over the blue streak there. I think it looks good. That's cool, I like stuff like that. Oh, got it on me. All right, well, that is this box. Um, this is what I got. I'm not going to do a time lapse drawing in this video, but what I am going to do, um, I will post a time lapse, like a short or something later. I'll create something with this, and I'll let you guys see it. I may do it on this paper, I may do it on something else. But this is super cool. Uh, Sketchbox, thank you very much. That was super awesome of you. Um, the fact they even do this, this golden ticket winner Sketchbox thing, is that just shows it's a testament to their company about how cool they are. Um, they, it seems like they always try to give you a good deal on stuff. It seems like they always try to give a good value, even though they don't always succeed. But they do. I do feel like they try. Um, and there's times where they've forgotten stuff in my box and they've sent it to me, no problem. Um, and then I just win a free box. Like you can just. I mean, this is easily fifty dollars of the material. I would assume. I'll check it to make sure. But I ain't gonna bitch about it. I ain't gonna lie because they didn't give me an exact number. It's a bunch of free supplies. I'm never gonna bitch about free supplies. Oh yeah, I need to try this. Yep, I love it. Because my biggest pet peeve about having any sort of fountain pens is that they streak. This, I mean, look at this consistent line this is giving. No breakage in the line. Completely consistent. That's a damn fountain pen. That's how you do them. It's disposable, which kind of sucks. But if it works well, I ain't complaining. Yeah, those lines are top notch. This is great. This is a great pen. This is great, man. This whole box together. The fact that I got a Copic, I got some Windsor Newton White ink. I mean, look at all this. I got me an alcohol based marker. I got me a Tombow pen. I got me a Sketchbox signature pen. It's pretty badass, actually. And this cool little holographic sticker. So, back to what I was saying. Sketchbox may not always be a home run for everyone, but I really, truly feel like they try. And they do a good job. Like, they do a good job of all this. So. Yeah, thank you, Sketchbox. I appreciate this. This is awesome of you. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of this little uh, this little gift pack here, this winter golden ticket thingamabob from Sketchbox. It was super fun for me. Like I said, I will be posting a, a time-lapse drawing using some of these supplies later. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Get Sketchbox. Hashtag, get, is that it? Yeah, hashtag get Sketchbox. I think it's, or, yeah, whatever. I'm just saying it. Get Sketchbox. It's totally worth your money. If, if you're just an artist who want to get some, some random supplies and be surprised every month and get a pretty good value for your stuff. I mean, it's eight times out of ten, it's a great value for what you're getting. Uh, Sketchbox is the way to go. It's, it's my favorite box out of all the art boxes I've gotten, and I've gotten several. So, thank you guys. Yeah, I appreciate So, yeah. I mean, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And keep on drawing on. Later.